Got another exam question on the enthalpy and entropy topic and this one focuses just on the entropy side of things. As always the link to the questions in the description of the video if you wanted to try it first. So testing your math skills this one I would say so you can see from the graph we're plotting delta G on the y axis and we're plotting temperature on the x axis. We've got a straight line graph so it obviously must follow the straight line graph equation. So if you think about the Gibbs equation in this format rather than the way it's normally written you can see we've got y, x, so what's multiplying x is the gradient so minus delta s and the c, the y-intercept is delta h. So we'll just quickly explain what the different things are. The gradient is minus delta s, the p, the y-intercept is delta h and the q is the temperature at which the reaction changes feasibility. So you can see below that temperature, delta G is negative, so the reaction's feasible up to that temperature, and then delta G goes to positive, so it's not feasible after that temperature. So you can just call this the feasibility point or the feasibility temperature. And for part B, so there's the equation for the reaction between aqueous barium nitrate and aqueous sodium sulfate. Remember this is used um, to test for the aqueous sulfate ion because it gives this white precipitate of barium sulfate. So the entropy change is going to be negative because there's less disorder on this side because of this solid. And the second part of the question is testing your knowledge of definitions. So atomization is all about the production of one mole of gaseous atoms from the element in its standard state. So obviously iodine gas produced from half a mole of iodine solid. So the important thing here is you're going from solid to gas and so that's an increase in entropy. So delta S would be positive. 